Hey guys, Eyeball Man here, and today I want to say thank you to MSI for sponsoring this video. They sent me a brand new curved monitor, and I'm excited to kind of jump into the game and test it out. Um, but for this video, guys, I want to jump into some Rogue Mage 2v2 and actually show you guys um, while I'm playing what is exactly going through my head. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna jump in and these are the first games actually on the on the monitor that they sent me So I'm gonna quickly show you guys the monitor um, Show you guys the little setup here. I'll probably do a more in-depth setup video in the future But we got we got wild gladiator little sar, but now this is the monitor using it right now Just plugged in to be my first games with it But as you can see it is curved and it's actually pretty pretty nice pretty immersive as I I was uh, when I when I first plugged it in I was like Oh my goodness, like putting my face close to the monitor like this, I'm like, oh my goodness, I feel like I'm in the world of Warcraft. So um, yeah, thanks to MSI for sponsoring the video. The link for the monitor will be down below in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll jump into this video. Um, so a lot of people have been asking me what I, I'm just going to queue up with, with Stun God right here. Hopefully he's here. Uh, this is not stage. Hopefully we win this game. Ho we're going we're gonna to walk through it. But um, a lot of people have been asking my thoughts on 8.2. Um, so... I have been kind of saying that 8.2 feels like Isle of um, the Isle uh, that was released in Mr. Pandaria, right? The, the island that was released in Mr. Pandaria. I'm forgetting the name right now. Timeless Isle. Uh, it feels like Timeless Isle a little bit with Mechagon and with Najatar. Actually, I haven't been to Mechagon on this character. That's why it's um, not explored yet. I've been on it on my main and my my rogue and my alt mage, but not on my alliance mage. So many mages, guys. Um, but I'm queuing on the Alliance one right now. But it feels like Timeless Isle and Mr. Pandaria is probably my favorite patch since um, since Timeless Isle and Mr. Pandaria. And a lot of people asking, like, really? Why? Like, question mark. Wow. Like, that means you really, really, really like it. Um, there's just a lot to do as far as world quests, as far as content, as far as, um, you know, flying around in the world, collecting um, different items, items to make you fly, items to make you one-shot, items to make you do a bunch of crazy things. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And then the gearing, it feels like you can get your entire um, gear set through, wow, I'm running around at this monitor right now. It feels so much different. It feels really cool though. Um, to get your entire gear set through the benthic gear, which by the way, guys, benthic gear, I'm using the shoulders on my mage, wildfire, undulating tides. These things are best in slot, definitely get them. But the benthic gear, and then to go up to the Benthic Upgrader and then upgrading your gear through this guy. That's how I got these to 415. So when you buy it, it's 385. You can up, upgrade it three times. Uh, I think when the raid comes out, you can actually upgrade it to, again for another 10 or 15 item levels um, to get even to 430. Um, but yeah, you can continually upgrade these items um, higher and higher and higher. The Bracers are, I actually don't have them, but they're Haste Versatility. Um, I believe, which are best in slot for mage, so you can I can get those and then upgrade those as well. Um, probably something I want to look at doing. Um, and then, yeah, but you can get them all from the vendor, and it's just a bunch of randomized pieces. The vendor's over here on Alliance, if you guys are playing on Alliance side. Which, by the way, this is so confusing playing some on Horde, some on Alliance. I'm like, where's the vendor for this guy? Where's this? Where's that? But it's really cool that there's a new zone with all of this to kind of figure out and discover at the same time. Uh, but here's the Vault Keeper. So he has all of the Benthic items. Hopefully this Q pops in a sec here. Um, he has all of the Benthic items that you get, um, that you can buy with Mana Pearls. And then when you buy the Benthic item, it's 385. I could actually, uh, I'm trying to think if I want to save up with, to upgrade these shoulders a bit higher. Okay, you, you know what? Five, five for the video. There it is, five for the video. So when you open up the Benthic Bracers, these are actually Haste Verse. These are incredible. They didn't have a socket on them though, so I might want to wait for the socket. Uh, I might just keep opening the bracers until we get a socket. Actually, we'll see if we're feeling a little bit lucky here. Benthic bracers. Socket, socket, socket. Oh! Live. Not scripted. Socketed bracers. Thank you, Blizzard. I appreciate it. Yes! Let's go! Anyway, so... <laughs> got the haste versus socketed bracers. Anyway, then when you get the benthic item, you can equip it. You can come on over to um, here to upgrade it. And then all of a sudden you can get like full gear with just these these uh, mana pearls. So you get the mana pearls, you do uh, world quests, you do quests, you kill rares. Um, they're all over the map, so it's super, super cool. And then in Mechagon, there's a bunch of really, really cool items. Um, admittedly, I haven't played Mechagon as much. I haven't done 
Uh, I've been more focused on Nashatar, but I've been doing um, some Mechagon here and there. And there's a lot of really cool items, like engineering items. It's just a fun zone. And I think... I right, upgrade. And boom. Um, I think that's just kind of what, what uh, World of Warcraft is missing. It's just some type of fun, exciting zone. Fun, exciting um, time versus... Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. I actually should go socket that with... Uh, with haste or versatility before this Q pops, but yeah, I'm super, super, super excited that um, that uh, we have a patch that actually feels like exciting and fun to log in and, and do things. How long will it last? I don't know. Is this the best patch in terms of PvP balancing? I don't know. Um, like I said, I haven't uh, you know haven't done a ton, ton, ton of um, threes yet um, on this patch, so we'll see. You know, is it the best patch ever? I don't know about that one, but it seems. Pretty, pretty good. Weekly chests. Haven't opened that. It is Tuesday. Haven't opened that up on any of my characters. Um, for people that don't follow me on, on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, all of that. Um, Q popped. Here we go. Here we go. Um, for people that don't follow me over there, we got double rank one last season. As soon as that sinister gladiator season ended, we got rank one on two different characters. Um, both my horde mages, so not this character, unfortunately. Okay, so jumping into it, um, well, you know, win or loss, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna upload this, but uh, jumping into it, guys, um, we're on Mug and Baller, we're fighting Druid Mage, a lot of the times against this, we are gonna want to go Kleptomania, um, I usually drag this here, by the way, when I'm Klepto, so I can see um, what the spell steal uh, cooldown is a bit easier, next to Combust and Memory of Lucid Dreams, if you haven't seen my last video, I'm running Memory of Lucid Dreams, I'm going to try to talk to you guys every single thing I'm, I'm thinking about um, in this entire matchup. So I'm making uh, you know, a mana table so that my rogue and I can eat. Providing for the family, the boy stun god. Um, I'll just tell him, let's go mage long game. Um, this will be a great video. Alright, we're going we're gonna to say it now. We're going to say it now. Getting that energy out in the world. Anyway, so my, mate, my rogue is um, mounted up here. We're going to right click and then normal click. Floor mat and Kolohats, these guys are both rank one players, tournament players actually, uh, very, very good. Um, so Evan and I are kind of just sitting back, hanging out, um, and then we're probably going to go ahead and sap the mage as soon as uh, he comes out of invis, and then we're going to start with the G-Pi onto him with some CC onto Kolohats as well. We don't want to klepto until he gets uh, a couple hots, then there's going to be a long game of going mage. So we're going to mount up here and then run around and until the mage gets sapped, there's the mage. We're going to avoid the mage so he doesn't get combat. So our rogue can go in and sap him. Um, he reapplies that ice barrier as well. We're going to continually run around. Um, once we get the sap of the mage, then we can cheap pie. We don't want to run into um, the blizzard so we don't get combat. We're going to cast the cheap pie onto him. Get a nice big opener here on the mage. The druid uh, bashed us. We can't get the stun out onto him. We're going to go for the sheep onto him. If we, if we get interrupted, we're going to go for the ring of frost. We go for the ring of frost instead. Looks like he gets the meld off, but we get it anyway. Get some damage. We're gonna club to everything this mage has. We're gonna go for the counter spell on the polymorph. Two couple rings onto this guy. We lock the polymorph. G Pi coming out. And hopefully we can get some more cooldowns here. G Pi in the air. We have a lot of CDs left. We got both trinkets already. And we're gonna start to run, right? We're gonna start to run. Um, play nice and safe. If they go on my rogue, then I have to push in and save them. It looks like they're going on my rogue. We're gonna push in. Try to take the counter spell. We don't get the fake. He gets the counter spell. We're going to cast G-Pies, just kind of threaten the mage um, defensive. We have Cult Mania back up for this next go. We have double stunts ready. Uh, we can go Druid or Mage here. Um, kind of up to my Rogue on kind of what he wants to do. Going to run back in, try to sheep the mage for this next go. He has no counter spell for 8 seconds. We sheep the mage. Try to sheep the mage again. Okay, we're going to start with the cheap pie on this mage. We get the cheap pie, we can sheep the other guy. Looks like we got stopped from the Polymorph attempt. We're going to DB instead in the Ring of Frost since we're locked in Arcane. We're going to go for his Ice Block here. And it looks like we should be able to get that block. Cool. So now we can just go ahead and run again. Try to sheep the Mage right out of this block. The Domination Reprints off now. He has no kick for five. We sheep the Mage. My, run, my Rogue has to run for that resell. We're going to go for a Trinket here immediately. Go for the Sheep on his Sheep. We're going to go for one more Sheep. Boom. That's a third Sheep. We're gonna cast on the cheap pie. We still need to get the mage's second ice block. We're gonna get the cheap pie. One cheap pie in the air. Two cheap pies in the air. Mage blinks. We still come my rogue safe here. Now we can start playing far. We escape artist the root. Avoid the blizzard. Eyes are out. We start shooting the mage maybe. We take the kick. We shoot the mage. We cast the cheap pie on the mage. It gets dispelled. We get the pie. 
Could be a long game. We blink away. Mage Ice Nova's us. We don't want to get reslowed. Looks like my rogue wants to push in very soon here. My rogue gets the sap, it's really good. Looks like he doesn't. He maybe sap the mage though. He saps uh no. Nice, we got the sap on the druid. Looks like we're gonna open on mage really hard here. We're gonna pop memory of lucid dreams. We're gonna let my rogue CC. We're gonna lock the polymorph, he fakes. We're gonna to everything he has. Hopefully we get another block here. We got polymorph and bash. It's gonna be clones, it's gonna be a lot of um just reset. We have Polyd. He wants to crossbow me. We temp shield. Trying to just survive right now until his next go. We shoot the mage. We actually don't get the follow off the kidney. And it looks like he can't sap either. Mage gets interrupted. Looks like mage wants to kill me now. It's good to know. We steal everything this mage has with the klepto. We have five seconds on this next kidney DR. Looks like they want to go my rogue. We got the cheap eye, it's off, it's in the air. We're threatening more cheap eyes, so mage has a line sight. So my rogue can run away. We can type out Druid. Casting a focus cheap eye in the Druid right now. Land a focus cheap eye, combust. Swap 100 O, and threw it in a bomb. Boom. There it is. So we, we typed out Druid, then we swapped Druid there. He had, he had no string up, we already forced it from the blind. Cool. Nice. Wow. Okay, so this was a 2600 MMR game. This is an amazing YouTube video. Let me just say right now, this is the best YouTube video ever. Holy moly. Okay, so we logged in, we got the Haste vs. Um, socketed Bracers. We queued a 2600 MMR game, non-scripted, onto ladder, 2600 MMR, Rogue Mage, victory, 5-6 minute match against Druid um, Frost. That's going to be um, what's going on inside my head at each given situation. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you to MSI again for sponsoring the video. Some of you guys are probably wondering why the heck I have an eyeball on my head. It's because this new curved monitor gives me a nice, comfortable gaming experience on the eyes when I'm playing. So thank you to MSI for sending it to me. I really, really do appreciate it. The link is down below. It's probably more affordable than you think. So yeah, thank you to MSI for sponsoring the video. Guys, thumbs video up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. Talk to me down below in the comments about what you guys thought of this format. I'm very curious on what you guys thought of me live commentating it as I'm playing the game, right? So many different things happening, so many different things going on. What do you guys think about that versus a post commentary where I'm taking it a little bit slower? Post commentary, maybe go a bit deeper, but this one is just like, wow, there's so many things happening, firing at once. Um, so yeah, I'm curious what you guys think. Um, guys, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next upload. Peace.